You just kind of started the, uh, I mean, everybody was out there, but you kind of started the little clap, uh, clapping of the, of the stick to salute the fans. What's, you know, what's going through your mind there? I don't know. Obviously, it's kind of empty right now, but you're thankful for all the guys in the room. We had a great run. We fell a little short, but I'm so proud to be a part of this team, and I'm so proud of everyone in that room. It's been awesome. It was a long time ago I was part of such a unbelievable team. Uh, and yeah, just the fans and everything has been great too. Uh, it was really cool to see throughout the playoffs and everything how it just bonded the whole city of Rochester, to be honest. And uh, yeah, I'm just grateful to have been a part of it. What's up with this? Every loss is tough, but how tough is this one, especially on home ice in a game that was so well played on both sides? I mean, it is tough. <laughs> that's playoff hockey, you know, like that's what you live for. You live for these kind of games, and when you don't get up out on top, it's, it's really hard on you. You never want to go out of the season with not winning the last game. So, I mean, it's just empty right now. Go ahead. How have you seen this defensive unit just over the course of the playoffs and getting into the playoffs really just improve, whether it be their defensive capabilities, offensive, or whatnot? It's been awesome. I mean, it's, it's been so much fun to play with each other. And I mean, we've bonded so well throughout the year. And in the playoffs, I feel we just took another step together where we knew, like, doesn't matter who you play with or who you're out there with. You you have so much confidence in each other. You know you're going to make the right plays and do the right things. And it's just been awesome to see the development throughout the whole playoffs. I mean, you lost some key guys and things weren't necessarily rolling part of February into March. How did you end up here? It's June 2nd. And by the end, I think, end of February, we weren't even in playoff spot at one time and uh, just get, goes to show the competitiveness and the character in this room. I mean, that's something special uh, throughout all the guys, throughout the leadership guys, throughout the young guys in the room, just developing through everything. It's, it's been unbelievable. Uh, and that's something everybody should just keep their head high and be proud of, I think. Because you were here a few years back when things weren't exactly going that great to be in, to, to be in this spot, to be in a position where, you know, if you win a move on, you're in the Cup final, maybe this was a game for you. You can see what it was before, what it is now. Oh, man. And the world's to me, like, you get to play hockey in June, you come in here and you're still playing hockey, it's, it's awesome. Uh, never thought of it looking back at the February coming around and when we just decided it was like something went around in the room and we're like, or we have something special in here. We just got to believe in it. And we did it all the way through. Uh, and that, that was awesome. Patrick, go ahead. Yeah, just one for me. Um, you know, when you think back about this team and, you know, in the future, what's a memory you'll take away from this, this experience? There's this is not one particular memory I could. There's so many. Like it's hard to say just one. I, the way we bonded, the way everybody just came into the rink with their smiles on and everything, and just when we were practicing, it was so competitive all the time. And it, it was a long time ago. I've been part of that kind of competitiveness and that kind of drive in a team. So there's those are just some things to take with you, but. We've had so many good memories from this season, so it's hard to say just one. Uh, but you just want to keep those good memories with you all the time.